I want to take this photo and turn this into a cyberpunk photo. Let's see if ChatGPT can do this for me. So here I am in ChatGPT. I do have the pro version. I already have the mid journey and the pro lab extension added. I want to now take that photo, drop it in here. And all I'm going to do is ask ChatGPT, make it look cyberpunk. So cyberpunk, enter. Now I don't want to change or get a new photo. I want the original photo and turn that into cyberpunk. Okay, so it came up with this little version, but it completely removed everything from my picture. The only thing it left was the actual truck, but what I'm after is the kids and everything. I just want the whole picture to look exactly the same, but turn that into cyberpunk. So is there an alternative? Well, I'm glad you asked because FlexClip can do exactly that. AI image to image generator. I've already uploaded my photo into FlexClip and you can see it over here. And also if I move my mouse over that picture, I actually get a larger preview and that's pretty cool. So I can actually add some descriptions to it, but what I want to do, I just want to keep it simple and use a cyberpunk feel. Now I already know that it's at the bottom here. So let's scroll to the bottom, highlight cyberpunk, and I can actually generate up from two to three or four. Let's just keep it simple. And I'm actually going to generate one. It's just faster and generate. Here is the final version. And I actually like it. And this is exactly what I wanted chat GPT to do without altering the whole image. I wanted to take the original image and turn that into cyberpunk. Now I'm going to show you something really cool that I discovered. What I like to do is take this image, download it, then re-upload this and then add on my own twist, something that is not available here in the style palette. I've already got the new photo uploaded. You can see it here. Now what I want to do, I want to add in my own twist. I want to add something from Vincent van Gogh. And obviously that is not available here. So let's just quickly type in something very simple, like make it something like Vincent van Gogh. And the results aren't too bad. I can actually see the Vincent van Gogh style incorporated in my picture. Now here's the cool part. If you go over to Grammarly, uh, download install on your PC absolutely for free look what you can do if I go back up here and let's say uh, I'm gonna add it like make it even better or something like that even better now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna highlight this and I'm gonna get Grammarly to do all the heavy lifting over here you see an icon it literally says improve it click on that now first it will generate the same thing that you wrote but if you go over here make it more persuasive it's gonna do a better job than I did. Don't forget this, transform, transform it into Vincent van Gogh masterpiece and then take it to the next level. All right, so I'm gonna insert that as well. I'm gonna close Grammarly and now let's see what I can generate. And there you have it. I can see more of Vincent van Gogh, not just in the background, but now also in the pickup truck. Now, after you finish making your picture, you can then import it into your project, but you can also do this. You can just double click on that picture, download it or make a video now. And I'll show you something else you can do. If you go into the history, in other words, all the pictures you've made, for example, this one here or this one here, let's double click on this one. What is the original photo? Well, you can use this one here and you can see the original photo of where the AI came from. And that's pretty neat in case you ever need to know or for whatever reason you wanna go back, just go into your history and double click on any picture. Oh, and while you're at it, I'm gonna show you one more little trick you may or may know of this little feature, but if you right click on any photo, you can actually generate a QR code. And with this QR code, you can just grab your phone, use the camera, scan it, and then this picture will be immediately loaded onto your telephone. How cool is that? So if you need something really cool for your project and you can't get it from ChatGPT, give FlexClip a go. And as always, thanks for watching.